Mr. Montgomery, you are the elected prosecutor in Maricopa County, Arizona, and you must now decide whether Deborah Milkey will be retried for capital murder. As you know, the Ninth Circuit U.S. Court of Appeals has identified your star witness, former detective Armando Soldate, as a serial perjurer. That court has also taken the most unusual step of referring this entire matter for an investigation by the Justice Department into the conduct of Detective Soldate and past members of your office for the violation of Milky's civil rights. Armando Soldate began his police career with an act of felony sex extortion against a female motorist. After a failed polygraph and lies, Soldate finally confessed to the crime. But instead of being prosecuted in prison and fired, he was only suspended for five days. You are aware that Soldate more recently ended his law enforcement career while under investigation for the exact same extortionate conduct. Again, he evaded prosecution by simply resigning as constable. There is, of course, that huge litany of serious cases where Saldate lied under oath obstructing justice. Saldate was never once held accountable for his despicable conduct, at least in any public forum. Nobody knows more than I do that Deborah Milkey did not confess to Saldate. It was just hours after he claimed she confessed to him that I confronted her in the Maricopa County Jail receiving room with a hidden tape recorder. I asked Melky if she told the police that she had anything to do with the death of her son. You are now well aware that she gave me a quick, emotional, and a strong denial. That actual tape recording was broadcast to over a million of Arizona's television news viewers that very evening. Today you know you have no reasonable case against Melky. You cannot even meet the minimal threshold of probable cause. The American Bar Association's Ethics for Prosecutors makes prosecution of such a case unethical. Need I remind you that Maricopa County's courts were awash in malicious and despicable arrests and prosecutions during the exact time frame of the Milky prosecution. The Buddhist Temple murders, the Ray Crone case, and the David Hyde case were just a few horrific examples of prosecutorial tyranny. Ruthless conducts by cops and prosecutors all but destroyed lives and taxpayers paid out many millions to those innocent victims. Please don't forget the late Kenneth Peasley. Yes, he was from Pima County, but he was the most popular Maricopa County special prosecutor, that is, until he was caught and disbarred for knowingly putting on a perjuring police witness in a death penalty trial. Peasley still holds the grim record for putting the most people on death row in Arizona. How many are there because Peasley put his thumb on the scales of justice? Mr. Montgomery, you do have new safeguards in place to ensure fair trials, but they were too little and too late to help Deborah Milkey. Now it is time to end this woman's nightmare. Why prolong this woman's suffering and increase the damages taxpayers will be paying out? I know you're conflicted by a need to protect the reputation of your office but doing the honorable thing is much better than defending the rogue conduct of the past. Please, Mr. Montgomery, it's time to free Deborah Melke. Thank you.